today we'll be making paint trouser i got this pair of jeans and i'll be using it to show you how to cut a paint trouser so first of all i got my length here as you can see i have my short mark here that's my length i'll be working with so the next part now i'll be doing is how to shape in my side because it's a female trouser so i'm going to shape in the side of this trouser from this top here i'm going to mark one inch here and then this is the waist side so from waist to hip for every normal human being is six inch so i'm going to take six inch down and mark so this is my hip side the top here is my waist this point is my hip area and then for this button i really want it to be pinned so i'm look, i'm still going to take one inch down so what i'm going to do now i'm going to connect both lines together so just do yours for the back so now i've connected both lines together as you can see now you can see the side this is the side this for the buttocks area and this for the leg the fenced part so the next part now i'm going to take my waist measurement i'll be working with waist of 28 so whenever you're working with your measurement that's 28 plus 6 whenever you want to make trouser for every normal human being you add 6 inch to the waist measurement so i got 28 now i'm going to add 6 then divide it by 4 so do yours to the back so now for us to get this waist measurement just like what we said we say we're working with the measurement of 28 28 plus 6 gave us 34 so when we divided 34 into four places it gave us eight and a half so i'm going to mark eight and a half here at this top side then extra half inch to add to my seam allowance because i'll be joining both back and front together so i'll be taking this weight nine so i'll just mark my nine here now before i take anything down i want to slant the waist here to make my trouser balance because of the tummy side the reason why i will slant is to avoid sometimes some people got some big tummy so it helps to shape in it so i'm just going to take one inch down here and just slant it to this top side so this is it so just do yours to the back remember this video is from franco brown design thank you all right so we're done with the waist measurement now for me to get the accurate flab for this trouser which is the the deep crush of this person's um part whatever i got for this waist is my deepness for my flab so remember what we met when we divide 34 into four pieces we got eight and a half so i'll be using eight and a half here for my flab please my measurement starts from my slanted area because i'm going to trim off this one inches up so i'll be using eight and a half but for this person i'm working for it's not really a fast type so i'm going to reduce half inch so that there will not be too much excess at the flap so i'll be working with eight inch so let's say for example you are working with fat person if the person's um waist measurement is 10 then the flap is 10. so whatever you get from your waist that's actually the flap so i'm just make a straight line here now for me to get this curve shape here i'll be working with two inch that's the normal average um, curve you use for everybody so i'm just going to draw a straight line and then connect a curve with my hands so i don't know if you can actually see what i did here here's the waist here's the flap and you can see 